everyone, what's up? This is Sipti. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I am going to give a review on a book. So last time I have given a review on a book named My Little Epiphanies. So after a one long year, I am going to give a review on another book that is of Sadhguru. We all know who Sadhguru is, right? We have been following his spiritual talks on Instagram, YouTube and many other social media fields. So he is a yoga guru and proponent of spirituality. This book is really cool guys, like this is two in one, here we have a relationship bond and bonded section and here we have emotion, the justice of life. Like we all are little less rational when it comes to our emotions and how we conduct our relationship, right? So in his very introduction part only, he have explained like how this relationship of bond became bondage very easily. This book is a collection of questions and uh, it is very much relatable to the masses since we are looking for the answer of the same question. This book is a collection of question only um, asked by a Sadhguru's follower while delivering his talk. So today we will be talking only about a relationship section. This is relationship bond and bonded since I have covered only this relationship part. So today we will be talking about this. Relationship bond and bondage, it has a four chapter. In the first chapter that is within a four wall, Sadhguru talks about a love, the nature of romantic relationship, marriage and reproduction and parenting. So he also talks about the nature of bondage in every level of the scenario and he also talks about the detachment level that should be lived in the world with a full joy. So from relationship section, I am like so much in love with this line from page number 12. Instead of recognizing that someone is fulfilling your needs, you think you are doing a great job for them. When something goes wrong, somewhere you think he is responsible. The moment you point your finger towards someone, this is the beginning of bad relationship. Try to appreciate your partner and uh, try to recognize what the other person is doing. It's not like uh, don't try to uh, look only your side, try to look the both side. Only then relationship will work smoothly. If you don't do that, he says like it is the beginning of bad relationship. So in this section, he also talks about the expectations part. In relationship, there are most kind of person who keeps an expectation and when that expectation doesn't fulfill, we get hurt. I am also a kind of person who keeps expectation because we all are human beings and we all do keep expectations, right? But it is not good for a relationship to keep much more expectation. It's fine when you keep a less uh, expectation but don't uh, level up that expectations. Even I am trying to do that after reading this book. I am trying to keep the level of this expectation very very low. I am trying but you guys also do that. If we don't do that, it will lead to a bad relationship. Second chapter is friend and fear in which Sadhguru answer what friendship is. In this way he answer what friendship is is you are always making friends among those who support your way of thinking, feeling, understanding, liking and disliking. All you are seeing is some supportive substance for whatever nonsense you have made out of it. And there is this uh, line, I will read it loud. A true friend is someone who has the courage to tell you what shit you are and still be loving and nice to you. We have often heard that, right? Like no matter how you do, how you act, how you look and how you behave, a true friend will never leave your hand. Right guys? So uh, if you'll go through this book, I'm very sure definitely you guys are going to love this chapter a lot because friendship is a most integral part of our life. Each and everyone a friend in their life so you guys will loving it so Sadhguru also said through a story he shows that friendship cannot be sustained if it is superficial and built only on commodity Third chapter is cosmic connection that is reality to universe in this chapter uh, Sadhguru have made in relationship between mother and mother earth and I I am completely loving it because uh, he says like we often thank our mother and we celebrate Mother's Day and we always thank our mother that she gave birth and for that only we are being able to see this world and we are surviving till here, right? But Sadhguru says like when we thank our own mother, we should also thank our mother earth because mother will only give you a birth but mother earth will give you a chance to survive and to live and to breathe. We should be thankful for each and everything, the wind, the sun, each and everything that is in nature. So there is a close connection between a mother and the mother earth. That's why we call it mother earth, right? Mother will give you a birth and mother earth will make you feel 
survive in this world. So Sadhguru says like we should appreciate this thing. And if we don't appreciate those, all this Mother Earth nature creation, he says very in a direct point, if you don't appreciate this, if you have lost your consciousness completely, it is because you are too busy with some rubbish that is happening in your head. That is the only reason anybody can miss all this. Something that is happening in your head is important because you think too much of yourself. He says like, don't think only of yourself. We should thank we should be thankful for everything that is surrounding over us. So in last chapter, Beyond Life and Death, he asks why we crave for relationship. I appreciate Sadhguru saying that people won't be able to function their opium if they are not bound by a relationship. He also explained different people have different needs and different marriage will work out in a different manner. It's not like my relationship is working nice and her relationship is working nice. What about his relationship? What about his marriage? It's not like that okay everyone has a different uh, relationship and different uh, way of walking out so relationship are an opportunity to achieve some kind of union which will pave the way for a greater possibility in this way he has explained beyond life and death overall this book is really nice i got to learn so much of things from this book about a friendship relationship about this nature how should we appreciate it and how how much we should be grateful for each and everything that we have right now so i got to learn so many things from this relationship section and soon i will be starting this emotion the justice of life so uh, if you are still watching this video i'd like to thank you all for watching this video till the end showing your calmness and being a good listener thank you so much guys so that's it for today i hope you guys enjoyed watching this video so i will see you guys in my next video till then stay safe and take care of yourself i love you all